Hey everyone, okay. So we built upon the oil technique with foundation and I've shown you how to contour and highlight the way that I think looks best. Now, this tip is amazing, amazing, because what it does is, A, it stops oxidization, which is where your foundation mixes with the, your own natural oils or moisturizers and primers you put on, changes color. Suddenly you're orange or a shade darker. So it does that. What it also does is it stops creasing, which is actually does three things, because it stops it from changing color, it stops it from creasing, and when you go to put powder on, again, your skin looks like nothing on there. You can powder it and you'll be like, promise. It's such a cool tip. This is an amazing tip. So what you'll need, you'll think you've seen this, but you haven't. You'll need a piece of ply paper, you know, tissue paper, just a box of a drop sponge, just a box of tissues and a wedge sponge. So what you need to do is take this tissue apart and you're going to see this in a video demonstration, I promise, so don't worry, but just oh, pull the tissue apart. There we go. What you're going to do is take a clean wedge sponge, it's not damp, apply it into the tissue, just give it a little twist, that's it. Now I'm going to show you the tutorial. All you're doing with this is bouncing this onto the skin that you've just applied your foundation and concealer on. This will absorb all the excess moisture and oil or anything else in your foundation. It will pull it out and leave behind the pigment. What that means is no change of color, no creasing. And it also means that anything you put on is gonna look amazing after it. Your skin will look like skin. Once you've done this to one side of the face, just take it out, your sponge will be clean, and then just place it in the other bit of the tissue that's clean, and then just re-go over the face on the other side. Here's the video, see you soon. Please share, thank you, bye-bye. Okay, so we're gonna create the tissue with the sponge. So pull apart your tissue, which is very important. You don't wanna just place it directly into the tissue, make sure that you've pulled them apart. Take the thinnest sheet and wrap it around the sponge. Start on one side of the face. The whole purpose of this is regardless of if you've contoured or you've just used foundation mixed with oil, is to take away all the excess shine and oil, leaving behind nothing but the pigment. So when you do go to powder your face, it will, won't look like there's lots and lots of makeup sitting on it, which is the goal. So I'm just gonna go over one side and then I'll show you, as you can see, there's the excess oils. So you don't want any of that on your skin. So then go to the next side, just use a clean piece and go all over your face. Now I'm gonna show you the powdering technique even though I did do it in another video and you can click that for the full uh, video and it's in the description bar and that will complete the kind of series here. But this is such an important tip because some people won't need to powder their face at all, particularly those with drier skin. You can just leave it and everything will be great. There you go. So I'm gonna just take it a little bit further, apply a tiny bit of cream blush because we haven't powdered or done anything else yet. Just blend this in with my fingers. Then I'm gonna powder the face using a powder puff and it's turned inside, so it's like I'm doing a fingerprint. And you will see how little product there looks like on the skin. You can actually see my skin as opposed to seeing lots and lots of foundation. It still looks real despite the fact that in this complete series I put a lot of product on. And this is filmed in HD so you can see it in its entirety. So what you see is what you get. I'm now going to take it a step further and create more light in the center of the face with a powder foundation. I'm using a blusher brush which is my own information description bar, knocking off the excess. And where I put the highlights with the contouring and highlighting, I'm gonna keep those areas slightly lighter, which was the forehead, underneath the eyes, and the nose. And this will just give that more kind of halo effect where you've just got that light in the center and it's slightly darker around. And even with a powder foundation now, you can see there's not lots and lots of texture, it's just skin, which is the goal. And that will complete the tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.